Some woman back there, okay, missed the stop that we're currently at and she pulled the emergency lever to stop the entire train. <laughs> Good morning everybody, it is currently our second day in Italy before we do our actual studying. We are currently, we just got off the train and we are at Santa Margarita Portofino. I had been to Portofino once before when I was like, I don't know, 13 or something. So I can't really remember it, but I know that it was bougie and I know that it was fancy. So I'm very, very excited to see what we get up to today. See if we can actually afford to walk around in this town without, you know, paying 10 euros to breathe the air. And then we'll spend probably the afternoon in July which should be nice and then we're getting the train back for uh, just in time for our orientation day tomorrow. We have arrived in the beautiful stunning Portofino. You need to buy a bus ticket from just outside the train station when you get here and then you can get the 782 bus. It's five euros return and you jump on that for about 15, 20 minutes. It's packed, I can't lie, but it's worth it. And then you get to Portofino. It's about four minutes from the centre and you come up to this little church here then you have the most spectacular view of Portofino. <laughs> Look at this. I can't believe this is real. This is literally insane. Um, so just here it takes literally very minimal time to explore. There's pretty much like one high street and we're gonna go walk along here and we're gonna have a look at the restaurants there because they're a little bit cheaper and then around this bay here I think there's a beach so we're gonna go and head there. So So guys, we're currently at the secret beach in Portofino, which has come down some stairs around here. There's this main road up here, and I'm going to show you. And if you basically either get off a bus stop early or walk from the centre of Portofino, there's a little public path sign, which I will show you, and basically you just go down there. And this beach is really cute. It's not that packed at all, hardly anyone knows about it. But while we were here, we obviously went for a swim, did some really, really nice things. There's this yacht just parked up here. We decided to look at the name and who owns it because all the like, the yacht information is public. Turns out it's owned by Stefano Gavani, which means it's the Dolce Gavani yacht. Don't think anyone's on it, but it's pretty cool. Only in Portofino would that happen. So this is the view and I just got some coffee crema. And I'm not gonna lie, but it looks like a funky poo, but we're gonna try it. Okay guys, we are on the train from Genoa now. So we stopped in Genoa very briefly, just because we needed to get to the right train station to get back. Okay, we've got a four hour journey back and we are already encountering a ridiculous amount of issues. First of all, is the main problem is we literally left an hour in between our, our train changes and we've got to get to Ventimigli and then go over to France and literally we left an hour for that and we currently have four minutes to get our train. So I don't know if we're going to get our train and if we don't get this one, um, your next train is at 5am. So yeah, and it's currently what, what time is it now? Like 8, 8pm? Samir and I actually have our orientation day tomorrow so we actually do need to go to that and that's mandatory. So yeah, we can't really get stuck in Italy at the moment so I, I don't know, really know what's going to happen. And then there's just a whole load of just stuff. The Queen's just died as well. Like what the hell? Can you stop? Like what? And then the toilet's rubbish. Like what's going on? Like what is going on? Like it's just been like complication after complication and now it's just added stress. I'll let you know how we get on because I have no idea how this is going to go and we could be stuck here for another night. Okay, so things were looking good. Okay, we literally were tracking our train by the minute we had four minutes and we went up to 11. Okay, and 
we spoke too soon, okay? Some woman back there, okay, missed the stop that we're currently at and she called the emergency lever to stop the entire train. <laughs> I'm literally like, literally like this. It's, you can't even ride this. What the hell? And now we are 100% oh, so gonna miss our train. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're looking for the train to can. We have, I don't even know, like five minutes to make this change. We got it. Stress. Guys, we made it. <laughs> We're going home. <laughs> Yay! So with that, that's probably the end of my uh, vlog for today. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.